evening everyone. Maayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Welcome to another Sash Factor Live series with me, Carl Capelan. And tonight, I'm very excited to do this live series because we are joined with, with a lady from Cebu. She is a sports enthusiast, um, an adrenaline junkie, and most importantly, and this tug something um, to my heart, is she's part of the LGBT community. So with, with much pride and, and joy, I present to you um, Miss, Universe, Miss Universe Philippines Cebu, Bea Luigi Gomez. Hi! Good evening. Mayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Welcome. Hello, Hello Bea. How are you? Um, kamusta Hi, Sarah. I'm Hello. doing great. I'm doing great. How about you? I hope you I'm guys are okay. Despite I'm excited the to do this interview with you. <laughs> sorry. Ako rin, so I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let me normalize myself because I'm very excited to do this. But first up is, uh, Bea, for the benefit of those who, have, who don't know you yet, kindly give us a brief introduction of yourself. Yes, mayung gabi ikan ninyong tanan. I'm Beatrice Luigi Gomez. You guys can call me Luigi or Bea if you're going to send me a message on my social media handles. Uh, I'm a sports enthusiast, as Sir Carl mentioned earlier. I work as a community development worker and I am also a Philippine Navy Marines reservist and a proud member of the LGBTQIA community. Yay. You talaga yun eh, proud member of the LGBTQIA plus community. Dahil dyan, isang malaking check yan, Bea. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, so, I thank you for giving us brief introduction about yourself. And I believe you also mentioned that in your, in your, video, um, in your video. We'll touch base more on that later. But my first question to you is, if your friends will describe you, give us three adjectives that your friends will use to describe Bea. Hmm. They will probably say that I am brave, I'm genuine, and I'm wise. Brave, Kasi ako yung nagbibigay ng mga... Yes, yes, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yes, they will, they will definitely say I'm wise because I'm genuine. Kasi ako yung, mga, yung tipong hinihingan ng advices lagi. Even during my binibining Cebu uh, pageant, they call me Tita Bea. <laughs> All right. Um, so brave, wise, and genuine. Um, yes. So when was the last time you're able to show to people that you're brave? I believe I've always been very brave by showing everyone who I am, despite the discrimination that I will be uh, receiving, considering that I'm a proud LGBTQIA plus member. And I believe I'm not the only one who is going through that. And by being myself, it's already a uh, brave action to do. And that's one of the reasons why I also admire most of those who present themselves as they are in public. All right. Now that you're talking about your LGBT background, take us back to the point where in you, you, um, you outed yourself. You, you came out of the closet and you, you told your family and your close close friends that you you are part of LGBTQIA? You know, I've, I've said this once or twice in my social media account. I never really had that uh, coming out moment. Uh, I just told my family that, you know, there's this girl that I really like. And she, actually, my girlfriend is the one who courted me back then. And uh, they were very much open about it. And I, I was very happy that they received it wholeheartedly and they welcomed my girlfriend as well. We celebrate uh, special occasions together and her family as well is very supportive of us. And that's something that I want to, to share to all of the youth who messaged me since I came out, uh, not came out, since I, I, I opened about it in public during my Bini Bini Cebu stint, uh, a lot of you, uh, youth, LGBTQIA plus members messaged me that, you know, how how they wish that they were just like me who were as brave. It's not all the time that you don't have to be too hard on yourself, rather. 
you should take time about coming out and always know that there's a safe place for you. There's a safe space for everyone. And just take time about getting to know yourself. All right. You know what, uh, Bea, I appreciate you saying that because there are a lot of kids right now and there are a lot of teens right now who are on a crossroad. Um, identity crisis, if we, we can put it that way, that they don't know how to how to express themselves freely and how to be themselves. So thank you for saying that message. I believe early on, and I like in the interview early on, you're sending a strong message to our, to our teens, to our kids, and everyone who who feel that they, they are special and they belong to the LGBTQIA community. All right. Now, since you're speaking about kids, tell us about your childhood in Cebu. And uh, what is your oldest recollection or oldest memory of, of uh, beauty pageant? Well, my, my, I was very fond of my memory as a child. Every summer, I remember, hindi lang kasi ako ngayon naging uh, sports enthusiast. I remember my mom would enroll me in summer sports clinics every summer. I remember joining a uh, basketball clinic, karate do, swimming. So ever since I was a kid, I've always been a sports enthusiast and I was able to carry it up until now. And that's also one of the reasons I became a volleyball varsity player back in high school and college. And my longest recollection of pageantry, I remember, is my late cousin, uh, Rizini Alexis Gomez. She was, the, she was Miss International Tourism 2012 or 2013, I think. She was the only beauty queen I knew back then. And I admired her a lot. She joined Miss Mandawe, Miss Cebu, and Mutian ng Pilipinas. And she won, like, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Miss International Tourism. And she has such a pure heart. And by joining pageants, I always uh, celebrate her memory with me. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you discussing that in, in full to us. Um, my, my next question to you is, um, you mentioned about sports, and it's true, yung, yung sports mo talaga, it's not, it's not for show. You really are a sports person, um, you have a very athletic body, and you're able to show the sports that you're able to dabble with. My question to you is, how did sports, how did your sports background prepare you in joining into pageants? Or how did that help your personality in joining pageants? not necessarily Miss Universe Philippines. Yes, I used to be very shy and I had a really low self-esteem because I was very meek back then. And, you know, by joining sports, I was slowly able to come out of my shell. I gained confidence and, you know, not only in pageantry, but also in, in our daily life, it's very important that we carry with us the values of discipline and, uh, persistence to achieve the goals that we have. So right. I believe those are the most important traits, especially that I'm joining a national pageant now. All right. I, is it also, uh, would you also agree rather na since you're a sports person, yung endurance mo sa mga activities, yes. it helps a lot. Tell us more about it. Yes, of course. Endurance is very important, especially that trainings and the competition itself lasts for hours. Uh, hindi pa kasali dun yung mga rehearsals and wearing the high heels and having to change uh, outfits in a matter of seconds. Yung speed mo, train mo na din. And also, yung, kasi yung catwalk mo, hindi mo siya nagagawa without a very strong core. Sure. So being an athlete really helps. Okay, perfect. So I guess you have an advantage having a sports background na talagang uh, tawag dito. Talagang yung core mo nandun eh. So it's easier for you to pivot and to do your pasarela. I also researched that you, during the time that you joined Binibining Cebu, you were a gym manager back, back then? You managed the gym? Yes, I, I managed a gym for a very short while because I accepted that job offer before the coronation of Binibining Cebu. And then when when I got accepted to the job, right after I won, the, the following day, I reported to work 
<laughs> kaagad. <laughs> I wasn't able to process everything. So I reported to work and I managed the gym for only about a month or less. Yeah, but with sayang short, din yon. With a short span of time, what is your takeaway from that experience? What is your positive takeaway from that experience? What did you learn? Well, I learned that uh, there's a lot of people who value their health, uh, especially those who are non-athletes. And I'm very happy that I got to meet all of these people and give them a few words to encourage them to pursue their health goals and fitness okay. goals. Thank you. A lot of gyms are closed right now, so a lot of people cannot go to the gym. You as a sports yes. person what is your message to the people who really want to go to the gym but cannot go there because of the the, the lockdown and the restrictions yes the situation that we're in right now is very uncertain but there's always a lot of uh, alternatives that you can do especially at home you don't have to do uh the workouts that you usually do in the gym you can start by a lot of small things what's important is that you keep on moving to uh, keep your health at bay, na, especially doing cardio exercises, because that's very important, especially that COVID-19 is a virus that uh, affects our respiratory system. So by simply doing housework, that's already exercise. And also with a digital age that we're in right now, marami ng videos available online that you can look and watch and follow. So madali lang naman talaga lahat. You don't really have to go to the gym. All right. Thank, thank you, Bea. My takeaway from you is always keep on moving. So regardless if you're doing it at yes. home or in the gym, always keep on moving. Thank you. Now, you also mentioned, and dami kong tanong, di ba? Rapid fire to, kasi we only have a limited time, and <laughs> I want to make the best out of the experience because I really look forward to 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 meeting you and, and asking your questions. My next next question is: You were a community development worker, so tell us more about it and um, what satisfaction do you get from it? Uh. I believe you 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 told me earlier that I couldn't talk about my my uh that we need not talk more about my advocacy, but that's basically how I started as a community oh, development okay. worker. Okay. So okay. I, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my sure. advocacy. Uh I started my my outreach activities all by myself last year in the height of the pandemic. I I went out and organized my own outreach activities. And through those activities, I was able to meet a few partners. Uh, one of those is the Cebu City government. And I got to meet uh, Honorable Counselor Don Don Hontiveros. And we had the same advocacy, which is youth empowerment. And we supported uh, similar communities. And one of those are facilities for children in conflict with the law. And we also supported a few communities in the mountain barangays of Cebu. And that's how I got into partnering with him in doing community work. Okay, all right, thank you, that's it. As promised, I just wanna touch on base, touch base on that lightly. Um, another question yes. I wanna touch based on the, lightly is your stint as a Marine Reservist. Uh, can you tell us more <laughs> about it? Yes, the Philippine Navy was also one of my partners in my outreach activities last year. And, you know, they saw the potential in me and they recruited me to be a part of them. So I joined my basic citizens military course in January and I graduated in March. So I'm still supposed to earn my Marines emblem. But unfortunately, I, I won't be able to do it this year because I'm prioritizing my Miss Universe Philippines 2021 journey. And besides, I still have a lot of time to do my uh, FP to earn that emblem. And they're very supportive naman. So they assured me that if I won't be able to take it now, then I still, I, I still can take it probably next year. Perfect. I'm glad that there's a reassurance that you can take it next year. Now, 
Yes. When I was watching your videos before, um, before doing this interview, of course, we have to do our research. Nakakaya naman if we don't research about you, diba? Um, you mentioned about tattoos. So I want to talk about it. I'm more personal. So tattoos are a personal thing for, for people, men and women alike. So how many tattoos do you have? And what are the symbolisms behind your tattoos, if you don't mind sharing? Okay, so it's it's actually just one tattoo, but I I sort of uh, divided the meaning. So parang it's like a two-in-one tattoo. So it's basically a band with cherry blossom designs around it. So the meaning behind my tattoo is that uh, an armband, apparently, it symbolizes death. But for me, I had this when I was uh, on my 23rd birthday, and... For me, it symbolizes that I ended my my journey as a girl, and that I already transitioned into a woman, and that is the meaning behind the cherry blossoms around it. It's it's a symbol for a new beginning and a new season. All right, that's very profound. As you can see, I love cherry blossoms too. Kung di naman obvious na sa <laughs> Yes. Never I noticed. <laughs> um, I love cherry blossoms. I've been to Japan twice, so I I I, lo- I, I love it. Um, and very significant though. I I like that the design there is significant. It's, it's your coming of age. Parang alam mo yan, It's yes. your coming of age symbol. Na parang I've transitioned from from a girl to a woman. I'm a full blown woman to celebrate it. I'm going to make it permanent. I'm going to mark it permanent and design it with a sakura. Very nice. Thank you for giving us. Um, an insight on 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 how your tattoo was conceptualized. My question is, how did your parents react when they when they initially saw your your tattoo? <laughs> My mom is actually watching right now. At first, she didn't like it, but I uh, hopefully she was able to <laughs> to realize the meaning behind it and appreciate it for what it is. And also because tattoos are one of the arts that I really appreciate. And I told her about it. And nagustuhan niya naman. Pero for now, she told me I couldn't add any more. For now. <laughs> That's my next question, Sana. Do you plan on getting a <laughs> tattoo anytime soon? Yes, I am planning. But as my mom said, I'm a good girl, so... <laughs> Not okay. now. Maybe later. That's, that's what you call compromise. By the way, team, uh, I would like to acknowledge those who are giving their shoutouts and showering their love for 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 Bea. Thank you so much for, for for sending in your love. And later, I'll have I'll give the floor to Bea to greet everyone, all the people behind her rallying her in this Miss Universe journey. Um, Bea, for the interest of time, you also mentioned. Let's transition to more pageant-related questions, if you don't mind. Um, Okay. Yes, sir. we are all aware that you you joined Bini Bini Cebu in 2020. So, what's your takeaway in that pageant, and 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 what what did that add to you in preparation to the Miss Universe Philippines 2021? Yes, I'm very glad that I had the opportunity to join Bini Bini Cebu before I decided to join a national pageant because I started modeling in when I was 14, and I joined my first ever pageant in 2015, which was Miss Mandawi 2015, where I finished second runner up. And I took a long break after that from pageantry and modeling. And when I had uh, a comeback, I decided to join right away one of the biggest pageants here in Cebu, which was Bini Bini Cebu. And I was very fortunate to win the title early last year. So, the Bini Bini Cebu experience really jump-started my interest in, in pageantry and advanced my skills to be able to prepare for the national pageant. All right, which leads me to my next question. So take, take us to the point where you decided, okay, this is it. I'm aiming for a bigger goal. I'm joining Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Uh, honestly, at the start of the year, I didn't have any plans in joining the national pageant. So it was just uh, around three months ago that I finally decided that I will join because I am already 26 right now and I might not be able to qualify if I, if I wait any longer. And when the accredited partner of Cebu City 
contacted me that they needed a representative for Cebu City. As the reigning Bini Bining Cebu, I took it as a responsibility to be able to represent my city and show to the universe what Cebu City is all about. So I didn't have any hesitation. I, I took the opportunity and that's why I'm here now. Perfect. Thank you. Now, now that you're you're in it and you're in it to win it, uh, tell us the people behind the um, your pageantry journey, you, uh, the people behind your camp, and and the people who's rallying towards your camp, your um, your stint here in Miss Universe Philippines 2021. This is your time to give them a shout out. Yes, uh, my Origin Models Management fam. Uh, they're very special because they're the they're the very first ones who thought about me. They believed in me that I could represent Cebu City well, and you know I had doubts because I didn't have any connection in in the national capital region at the time. And my agency here in Cebu assured me that they will be taking good care of me, and that's when they introduced me to Aces and Queens. And I'm very happy that. Aces and Queens accepted me wholeheartedly and they helped me prepare for this journey. So maraming salamat po. And I'm very grateful for all of the help and the work that you've done to transform me into a beauty queen. All right. We are doing this pageant in the time of pandemic. So my question to you is, how has the pandemic affected your mental health? And... Um, what are the setbacks you're experiencing because of the pandemic in terms of your preparation here in Miss Universe Philippines? Yes, uh, I've worked as a secretary for four years and part of that skill really uh, is in it in me to organize everything and to do things according to plan. But, you know, we are in a very uncertain situation and there are times when... Uh, anxiety hits you up and you worry so much but at the end of the day you can only focus on the things that you can control so i have to deal with my anxiety by by preparing a contingency plan like right now i was supposed to be based in the national capital region but i was worried about the mobility so i had to move back here to be able to do all of my digital requirements and right now i'm just <laughs> crossing my fingers that uh the the community quarantine will be uh lessened and the cases would lower in the next few weeks so that we won't have to experience any more delays hopefully hopefully all right thank you you already mentioned your digital uh, challenges so i want to touch base on that so first is we already saw your runway video so take us uh, please describe to us or, or give, paint us a picture of the creative process. What did you like about it and what were your challenges? Yes, uh, I was very excited about my runway challenge because I did that during the first day of when the modified enhanced community quarantine was, was, uh, was implemented. But beforehand, we were already able to secure permits but i was kind of worried that when we recorded the video someone might apprehend us and that was one of the challenges but you know i was i was support i was very much supported by my local government unit and i'm very grateful to their assistance that they assured me that i can do my digital requirement and the venue that i had it was an abandoned uh, facility there was a helipod there which had the view of the entire city and that's the reason why i chose that because you can see from my background while i was doing my runway it was the entire cebu city behind me the mountain barangays and the metropolis area so i had i have fear of heights but you know i was very glad that i was able to pull off my runway challenge so in the process of doing your runway challenge, you also conquered your fear of heights, right? Yes. Wow. So that's because I had to do work. it on top of a helipad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're given a chance to do it again, would you do it again? Um, doing a runway on a helipad. Yes, having to do it 
already, I, I, I would definitely do it again. Especially when I saw the view there, I, I got distracted. I got enchanted by the view. So ayun, masayang experience lang siya. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be a laban, laban lang, laban talaga. Thank you, Bea, for sharing us an insight on how it was done. My next question to you is your swimsuit photo. If I'm not mistaken, you were in this black, right? Black, yes. Black dress. Tapos nakapatong yung legs mo sa parang naka elevate tama ba? Yes. Parang ang sa akin ng powerful ng dating. It's a, it's one of the 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 swimsuits that I the swimsuit photos that I like because it it gives me ninety supermodel vibes. Para siyang, um, para siyang Versace, para siyang gano'n. Yung alam mo yung super sexy, tapos super, super polished. So, no, I don't want to describe it more. I want you to describe it for us. Take us back to your swimsuit uh, picture. Ah, the creative process behind it, what was the pick? Parang gano'n. Yes, I really appreciate that you saw there the, the, the Versace feels that you said because that was really what we were going for. And I... I told my team that I wanted it to be wholesome and simple, but yet high fashion. So we were able to pull it off. And I was really happy when it had very much positive feedback from everyone. Grabe talaga. Sobrang glossy. Sobrang glossy ng photo. Uh, the post-production was excellent. Of course, you have the body to boot. So parang, wow. Alam mo yun, parang akong, nag, para akong na, nag, nakatingin sa isang Vogue magazine spread ng 1990s. Oh. Alam mo yun? So, thank like, you. Thank you. That's, that's, that's what that's what I saw. Because in Spanish, imponente. Ganun siya. Ganun siya. Ganun siya ka-powerful yung, yung arrive. So congratulations and congratulations to your team. For, thank you. For, for thank you so job. much. I also, we also just saw recently your um, casting call video. So describe to yes. us the, the creative process behind the casting call video that we had. Yeah, so the casting call video is something really different because you usually see us with glam makeup on and and really uh, nice outfits. But the casting call video is something to, to see us in a more different perspective. It's more raw, it's more clean, and I've been receiving a lot of positive messages as well that they appreciated my video. And that's really who I am, with or without my makeup. That's me, and it it emphasizes my features that I didn't have a makeup on. So that the challenge there was for people to see us raw. And yeah, you see, it circles back. I asked you earlier the question: three adjectives. You mentioned genuine. So your video circles back to your, to your description of yourself. You're raw and you're genuine and keep it that way here because that would take you places. Your, gen, your genuine attitude, you being true to yourself will take you places. Um, we are a few days, we are a few days uh, before September 25. Um, being not a uh, pageant newbie because you have joined Binibining, uh, Binibining Cebu before, what do you think are the things na okay na, kasado na to, and what yung gamay mo na, and what are the things that you think you need still need to brush up on or to polish on? Yes, I've worked on my self confidence for a long time just to be able to uh, do the Bini Bini Cebu pageant. I did a lot of personality development workshop, and I'm very glad that I did that before joining a national pageant because that's one of the most important skill that I needed to learn. But Right now, uh, I guess my biggest challenge is that I still carry with me that very modelous uh, feels. And, you know, I've only been in pageantry once for the Bini Bini Cebu pageant. And I've been a model for the longest time. So I had to, to change my character a little bit. And because pageantry and modeling are two different things, so hopefully I can work on my pasarela, make it more uh, less runway, uh, less model, less modelly, <laughs> and more okay. beauty queenly. <laughs> now that you mentioned pasarela, I want to pick it back on that. So describe to us without giving the, your trade secrets, um, your signature walk. 
I'd like to call my signature walk the imperfect strong stride because I'm very insecure. Physically, I'm very insecure about my leg gap and because I have really slim legs because I run a lot. And, you know, that's my challenge, how to conceal the gap between my legs. So I have a specific runway walk and a specific stride to do that but at the same time my legs are my strength as well because it's what carries me and i have it's as well my asset because like everyone said i had very long legs and i'm very happy that that's what they noticed and not my leg yep. gap <laughs> because that's don't what i was going your, for don't worry about your leg leg gap dear you have legs for days um once you have the confidence i mean people won't won't I, I wasn't able to, to 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 notice that you have a leg gap. To tell you honestly, now that you've mentioned that, so I guess just believe in yourself. Alam mo yan, girl, you got this. So kaya mo yan. Yung lang gusto sa bin sa yo. Yes. Um, I guess my question is: so Aces and Queens is training you. So is Ian Lawrence the one um, polishing your catwalk, or somebody from Cebu? Yes, I did a few trainings with Mama Ian, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to do. A lot of trainings because I'm an ECQ and I had to get back here right away. Hopefully, hopefully I can do more trainings with Mama Ian. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bea. We are going through that that the feet like last stretch of our of our interview. As you know, we have time constraints. As much as I want to stretch this to an hour, there are there are certain things that we we also have to 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 focus on. That's the reason why we're just keeping the questions, Be, um, showcasing you and your personality and minimizing. Some some pageant related questions, but if you would let me indulge, I would just like to ask you three la- last three questions with regard to pageantry, okay? If you don't mind. Okay. All right. Okay, sure. My first question to you is: in this in this journey, there are two possibilities: you fit, you win, or you 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 succeed or you fail. So my first question to you is: when was the last time you failed? How was it? And what did you learn from it? I can't as an athlete. I believe I failed many times, but you know I don't remember much of the failing. But I remember more of coming back up and doing better in the next opportunity that comes along my way. And in every failure, there's always a better opportunity for you. So that's my biggest takeaway in all of the failures that I've been through. And yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, it's like the comeback is always better than the setback. Tama ba? Yes. Exactly. Right. Consequently, my next question to you is: When was the last time you succeeded? How did it feel? How was it like? And yeah, what did you learn from it? All of those small achievements that that I was able to conquer, and especially during the time of the pandemic, is one of the most memorable successes that. I had, especially when I was already able to build my advocacy since last year up until now. It's still ongoing. A lot of people still sending me support, and also when I was able to graduate from the basic citizens military course. And so far, the greatest success that I am in right now is being. A part of the top seventy-five of Miss Universe Philippines twenty twenty-one pageant, and you know it. It's one of the reasons that fueled me to do better each day and to wake up and be more inspired to inspire others. Okay, um, you mentioned there are seventy-five candidates. We can only crown one. So my question to you is: Why should you be the next Miss Universe Philippines twenty twenty-one? I believe I should be the next Miss Universe Philippines 2021 because I am well rounded, and I represent a lot of communities, not just the youth, but as well as the LGBTQIA plus. And I believe I am a phenomenal woman who can represent our country in the international stage. Wonderful, de ba? Gusto ko yung engaging personality mo do while you're delivering your your answers. It's really <laughs> part of the package. So keep it up. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Thank you. We are in the part of this interview. We are at the home stretch, sadly. 
um, because I know you're very busy and we're only allowed to do this maximum 45 minute stops. So let's go to the to the part where you're going to give messages to the people behind you. First off is, um, what is your message to your to your to your family and friends? Ayan sa ako ang mga higala o sa kung pamilya daghan ka ayong salamat sa inyo hang supporta sa ako a uh, and also to all of my friends that are not from Cebu. Thank you very much for rallying and for campaigning to vote in my. Miss Universe Philippines 2021 uh, outputs. Daghan ka ayong salamat sa inyo hang tanan, and I hope that you continue to support me until the end of this journey. Thank you. All right. What is your message to your partner? My message to my partner, you know, she's very supportive. She's in fact one of the reasons why I'm here. She's the one who been pushing me since Miss Mandawe, since Bini Bining Cebu, and now Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Thank you very much for standing by with me and for giving me the strength when, especially when I feel down, thank you for encouraging me and for believing in me. I'm going to go to message from my partner. Thank you. I just want to also take this opportunity. Your fans um, shared our picture, the Sash Factor um, poster, and they tagged me. And, yes. And that's very sweet of them. So now is your time. I mean, I'm sorry to 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 BS fans. I did not mean to to ignore your messages earlier. It's just <laughs> as we're really working on a limited time. Um, we cannot extend further, so I cannot ask uh, other past Miss Universe questions that I would usually I would usually do in in the past. But going back. What is your message, Bea, to your fans who've been rallying for you, especially for those that you don't know personally, but they are all out supporting you? What is your message? Yes, uh, I believe I, I saw my babies. I, I call them my babies. And who else? Uh, there are a lot of people that I don't personally know, but who keeps on messaging me. Thank you very much for showing your support and for sending me words of encouragement every day. I try to reply to all of you one by one whenever I can, but unfortunately, <laughs> I, I, I cannot keep up with all of your messages. But you know, you are one of the biggest reasons why I have the strength to continue. And dagan ka yung salamat sa inyo hang tanan. I wouldn't be here without you guys. So I hope that you continue to give me the strength that I need. Salamat. All right. Um, and finally, my question to you is, let's do a boy abunda moment. So I'm going to ask <laughs> you, uh, complete the sentence, I am Bea Luigi Gomez and I am dot, dot, dot. So question, I am Bea Luigi Gomez and I am? The next Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Thank you so much. There you have Thank it, you. ladies and gentlemen. A very brave, genuine, bubbly, endearing, and engaging lady that we're able to 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 get to know um, her per a little bit of her personal life for a short period of time. Again, ap apologies because we cannot stretch this further because of the limited time constraints. But I hope you had a great time getting to know a very beautiful and a very uh, wonderful lady by the name of Bea Luigi Gomez. On behalf of Sash Factor Philippines, my name is Carl Capelan, and we thank you for joining us tonight, and we hope that you would support Bea in her campaign to be the next Miss Universe Philippines 2021. So thank you so much, everyone. Good night, and until next time. Good night. Thank you. Stay safe.